Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing okay. How's the quarantine going on for you guys? Well, mine's doing okay. Um, me and my husband are actually re-watching some American Horror Story. We're watching old and new Survivor seasons. But let's get on to what we're doing today, which is I'm going to fully test out this Maybelline Superstay foundation. I just got it and I got it a little dark. So it is what it is. <laughs> but I hope that we could figure out how this is on my skin because I have dry skin. Um, I'm oily a little bit like, you know, on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, like the T-zone. Uh, but mostly I'm mostly dry. So I want to see how this works. Right now it is is it hold on a second. hey google what time is it it's 342 it's 342 uh in the afternoon uh so i'm gonna test it out as much as i can especially now in this time i could test it as long as i won't <laughs> as long as i stay awake uh so it's supposed to last up to 24 hours i don't think i'm gonna get to that point but i might get you know somewhat you know in the maybe close to the 12 hour mark. So uh, let's try this out. Before we get on with the video, how about you click on that like button and if you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring the bell uh, so that I can make new, more content for you guys. Uh, also comment and let me know any new things or any questions you have for me. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, so I'm gonna, I usually use a sponge for my foundation, but for you guys, I'm gonna test it with a brush. I'm gonna be using this Morphe E6 brush. Um, when I did use brushes, this was like my favorite brush in the world for foundation, but then I got back into sponges and stuff. So we're gonna test this out. Um, before we test things out, I'm going to put, I'm going to put my hair back because this is going, I need, I need to concentrate and I need my hair up to concentrate. All right. So before we start putting on the foundation, I'm going to use a little bit that I have left of my favorite ultra repair cream. So I'm going to put this on. All right, so now that that's done, let's get onto this foundation. Now this foundation claims to be full coverage and up to 24 hours. I have the color 27 Sandy Beige. Can you see that? Okay, cool. Um, which is the same color as my regular Smooth and Dewy. Dewy and Smooth. My, my same dewy and smooth and it is my color I swear but when I put this one on it's so dark and I was like oh. but I only used it for like, like two hours so that's not really testing it so we're really gonna test it today guys all right so I'm gonna take three pumps on my hand and I'm going to do this side of the sponge and this side the brush, which is, this is my right side, this is my left side, which for you guys is the opposite. So what I like to do, I usually put the foundation on my face first and then I blend. So I'm going to be doing that for both. And don't mind me looking in this side. I'm just, just looking at a mirror. And I don't know if you could tell on camera, but this is not my color. But I make it work, guys. I made it work when I tested it on that two hour, and I'm gonna make it work today. And as you can see, or if you can't see, what I notice is it, it dries down, it's very it's a very mattifying foundation and I usually go for hydrating. I 
want to really test this out in the summer because that's when my t-zone really whales up and you know with me wearing glasses which if you guys don't know I wear glasses so when I wear glasses you know right here it gets really oily for the amount of time I actually wore this foundation the last time I had glasses on I mean obviously I put powder on my nose and then I put some on the the little app the little plastic thing from the glasses to just really make sure it doesn't you know tug on the foundation but even so it did not budge you could not tell that I wore glasses which is very shocking for any foundation my I even my husband I asked him I was like babe wait hold on do you see anything does it look like I put on glasses and I had it for two hours and he's like no I was like oh snap so but right now you know I'm kind of on the fence um, about it. I don't know how it's going to last me for a good amount of time. So let's see. And I'm going to put it down my neck. <laughs> we'll put it there. We'll get to that side. So now getting to this side. Still have some left, which is a good thing. I put three pumps, guys, and the sponge side did a did a good job. Did a really good job. Let's see how the brush side's gonna do. Maybe I won't even need a pump anymore. Usually, sometimes certain foundations, I do like two or three pumps, and I need to I need to repump again just to get like my forehead and everything. So I'm going to use the brush and what I like about this brush, just talking about it a little bit, is usually depending on some brushes or it could be I guess the way you apply with the brush, it gets streaky and what I like about this brush is that it does not, it doesn't get streaky. it like gives like a really, really nice coverage. Which I guess I was right. I don't need, did I get it on? Hold on. Did I get it on the crease of my nose? You know, you know guys how it is. Yeah, I did, I did. Okay, cool. So I noticed it is a lot more packed and full coverage on this side. It's a little, smoother on the beauty blender side and it looks a little a little for my my opinion a little cakey on this side so I'm just gonna press the beauty blender because I feel like this is something I would do if I was using a brush anyway and smooth everything out All right, now let's take a nice good look. And it looks about the same now. Hold on. My problem area is always my nose. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't cling on to foundation, but it's, it's doing good. The only thing is, which I did notice, and I'm going to have to like set is my line here and my line here. What I'm more worried about is this line right here. It's so funny. Like, I smile, but for some reason, like, I crease more on this one. So then I get that smile line. On this side, nothing. I don't know what it is, but this little side over here just wants to crease and wants to make me look a little older than I am. And I don't appreciate it. So I might have to set, but I'm gonna do that later. I'll do that now. So I have I have this Monica Dar Flawless Finish Dual Powder 
in C3 Flawless Linen. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I really, really like it. Uh, I'm gonna get it on this smaller side and I'm gonna get it right here. And then lay it on the top of my head. All right, guys, so I'm going to do the rest of my face, and I'll get back to you guys afterwards. All right, guys, so I finished my face, and if you guys are wondering about this look, check out the video that I made for it. I'm not sure if this one's coming first or if it's going to be that one, but either way, go check it out, and I'm going to, what time is it? Hey, Google, what time is it? 21. Okay, so it's 521 right now. So I've been wearing it for about two hours or so. And I'll get back to you later and let you know what I think. But for right now, it looks pretty good. My line over here is not as pronounced. My line over here is moderate. It's how it is. You guys want to see see there's like not that bad you know and it doesn't look too cakey or textured or you know and I was able to blend all my makeup perfectly fine all right anyway so I'm gonna get back to you guys in a couple hours and let you know what I think about how it looks all right guys see you later Hey guys, so right now it is 8.30 and I'm actually editing the video for this look and I'm gonna let you know what I think about the face. All right, so I don't know how you guys are seeing it. Let me take my glasses off. Well, as you can see, I did, look at that, look at that. You could sort of see it, but usually by now, I mean, I did put my glasses on like about like an hour ago or so, cause like I didn't need it until I started editing. And look at, the, but like, look, barely the, any creasing, like very minimal. Like you could actually, it looks like, you know, you could just pat it with a, but it looks so good. Um, why am I putting this back on? Um, but I don't know guys. Uh, for me, it's like a little dry, but it's not bad. It's not bad for a matte foundation to be, you know, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Is it my favorite? Would I want to wear it every day? No. I would love to see how it is in the summer. And then, you know, once it starts getting hot. Because right now, guys, it's like in the 54 degrees today. Um, and recently, and it's April in New York. So, yeah. But I will definitely keep you guys posted. <laughs> I'll definitely keep you guys posted. I'm going to probably do one like maybe at midnight I'll definitely be awake by then and I'll let you know what I think then uh you guys let me know what you think about my foundation I mean besides like you know the texture on my face which is kind of normal for me like you know there's maybe I don't know a little bit of dryness up there it could be from powder but overall, to me, it looks fine. Looks completely fine. All right, guys. I'm going to stop blabbing and get to editing. And I will be talking to you guys at midnight. Hey, guys. So it's a little later than I expected. It's 1220. But I'm here still to update you. I told you I'd be awake. So this is what it's looking like. Uh, you know, it's been a couple hours, so obviously 
I wear glasses, so you kind of need to know how it's going to be after a couple hours with glasses on, and it's not good with it after a couple hours, but it did pretty good in the beginning. If you were, like, going out for two hours, you know, you're good with the glasses, and it, you know, you could take it off if you're, like, going to go on a trip and you want to wear sunglasses, you should be okay. Uh, just keep some powder so that you can, you know, set it and, you know, have it covered later. But overall, everything seems to look about the same. Um, I don't see any, any much difference. If you guys have any comments on what you think of it on me, you could let me know. But I think it's good. It's not, like I said, it's not my favorite type of foundation to have because I do have dry skin. But for a dry matte foundation, it did pretty good. Um, so I'm going to end this video now. I'm playing Call of Duty. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Uh, subscribe and ring the bell so that I can give you more content and so that you know when it's coming. And like this video so I know that you want to see more of it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! It's just too hard to move when you're standing right there It's just too hard to walk away and leave you like that Can we give it one more night?